Good morning, this is Kim and I want to start off by saying thank you for signing up for this class. This is an investments class and uh, I have students in here who are business majors as well as economics majors so there were two ways to get into this class and anyway I enjoy teaching it and I certainly hope you enjoy taking it. Uh, I want to direct you to the hub of the class, which is Canvas, canvas.losrios.edu. I'm sure you know that the campus has switched over to this course management system, so we will no longer be a D2L school. Uh, moving on from that, once you log into Canvas, you'll see this class, and uh, it, it looks like this. Here are the tabs on the left-hand side. I'm in the Announcements tab. So when you go in here and click on announcements, you'll see that I have two announcements. Welcome to the fundamentals of investing. And next I'll cover this one, the syllabus and course information. Let's start here. All right, there's a couple things I want to I want to share with you. This class 330 for econ or 325 for business is really an extension of 320. So uh, it, it's advanced and really focuses just on investment. So we'll be looking at stocks, bonds, futures, options, real estate, also some safe places for money. I want to say that if you have not taken 320, that you might want to consider taking that class first because in that class uh, I also discuss investments, various types, and then follow up with uh, with really other financial topics that are relevant to your life. So again, that class would be the over overall all things financial class, Business 320, and then this would be an extension, which is a more advanced class on investments. Just want to make sure you're clear so you take the right class. Both of them are offered online, so you have multiple options. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the orientation for this class. Again, Canvas being our hub. Under the announcements section, here's welcome. Uh, when I'm done with this recording, I will post the orientation video right here. So this is a, a placeholder. Uh, now I'm going to go back, click on that announcements tab, which I want you to do, and uh, now go to this area, the syllabus and other course information. This is important. First of all, your book. Here's a cover of the page of both options of the book. This would be an older 12th edition, significantly cheaper, but will work. This is the newer 13th edition, which is now old, I guess you could say. I want you to find these as cheap as possible. So go online, look for these books. You don't need any supporting documentation, so no discs or anything like that. You just need the book. And you're going to have to have the book because this is online. And for the first week, I'm going to give you the relevant sections in the chapter. But after that, it's going to be up to you. So take care of that as soon as possible. Uh, next, here is the syllabus, which I'm going to go over in a bit. And then finally, I'm going to post the orientation video after I'm done again right here. So a couple spots for you to find just so you can get uh, a really good start to the class. So those are under the announcement section. I'm going to move on down here and I'm going to talk about pages. Now pages is the is significant, most important part of our Canvas site. If when I click on pages, uh, first of all, right now I have it set to this Canvas tutorial, but that's only temporary. I want you to note this tab right here that says View All Pages. It is a critical tab. When you click on this tab, you will see all of the pages that are coming up for, for this class and then any previous pages. So there's the canvas that set as tutorials that set as a front page. Now this next page right here, instructor information and communication policy, it will always be out there. But what it does tell you is a bit more information about my office hours, Tuesday and Thursday from 1130 to noon. And then after a class I teach uh, face to face, I have office hours again from 1.30 to 2 and really as needed. I am on campus most Tuesdays and Thursdays all day. 
My office is B221A in the business building and here is my mobile number. And I'm really a strong, strongly in favor of texting. I think it's a great way to communicate with me and for me to communicate with you. So rather than calling or emailing, I suggest you text me first. Of course, you can always do the, the other two, but this would be my preferred. Another thing I want to talk about here is that there is a question and answer discussion forum. And what I want it to be is a way for you, class, you, members of the class, to communicate with each other. However, I will be popping in and out of there also to answer questions related to the class. But I want you to, if someone posts a question, I want you to respond. Do your best to respond. Go there often. See what other students are asking. So uh, I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, now I'm going to pop into this view all pages again. And I'm going to now direct you to week one, beginning August 21st to 27th. When I click on this tab, this is going to be your first week's set of learning, set of homework, set of tools, really everything you need to be successful for this week in the class. This is how I do it every week. Week one begins Monday, August 21st. It ends on Sunday, August 27th. Your learning objective, terms, terms, terms. Uh, yeah, we're going to uh, focus on chapter one, which is, is uh, very termy. It's just a general understanding of some concepts. But anyway, the gist of this is that I set these up the same each week. You're going to have a learning objective, a homework assignment, uh, the tools. These are all the things you're going to need to complete your homework. And then finally, your homework links. You'll click on these links down here to submit your homework. And please note to submit the proper homework under the proper link. So I'll go, uh, you will have a, a video explaining your week one homework that you can check on it. And really a video every week that helps guide you through what we're learning. So remember that tab, view all pages, please. Uh, next we have a discussion tab and I will be putting uh, regular discussions. You can see some of them are out here already uh, from last semester. You won't be able to see those, but we do talk about uh, government, fundamental analysis, NAFTA, these are some of the topics we had last semester. Really interesting stuff and I like to stay current with what's going on in the world and, and address how that's related to investments. Investments, uh, you know, our, our financial future really. Here is the Q&A about the course and again that is where you will post question you might have. Uh, it's pretty, pretty easy to understand so you can uh, reply to a question, you can create a question, you can uh, do whatever. If you have an issue I'd like you to post it out here because often some other students have the same issue. So please use this. Use this when you need to ask a question about homework or really anything in general. Okay, and then self-explanatory quizzes tab, then your grades tab. Uh, just reminded me that there are, oh no, here are your first three uh, homework assignments for next week. And uh, when you complete those before the end of the following week, you'll have all your grades in here. Okay, so I can go back, click on the class, takes me back to this menu. Here are the other people in your class, just in case you want to email them and uh, when we work on a partner project. So I think that helps explain Canvas. Again, the hub is going to be pages and the first page you're going to be looking for next week on Monday is that week one. I'm going to say this again. I know I sound like a broken record, but so many people don't realize that you have this view all pages tab and then you're going to be on week one. There is a tutorial, there's my instructor information, and now week one. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and go back to this announcement section and I'm going to click on the syllabus and other course information and right here I'm going to open up your syllabus.
And here we go. Red, again, office hours, office location. Nothing changes here. My email and the course website, canvas.losrios.edu. Uh, this course is only offered online. Again, it's a uh, more advanced investment class for those of you who are truly interested in learning about investments. And uh, because I, I guess in my opinion, they are certainly important to your financial future. Uh, I guess I'll stop here and tell you a bit about myself. Uh, again, my name is Kim Handy. I have been teaching at Sacramento City College for almost 18 years. That's a long time. So uh, I guess you can try to guess how old I am. Anyway, besides teaching at Sacramento City College, I'm also what's uh, designated as a CFP or Certified Financial Planner. And I have a, have a business on the side where I do uh, personal financial planning for a lot of instructors on campus, but as well as other individuals. Uh, and again, that's my small business. I, I teach because I, I really like it. I think being around all of you keeps me young and keeps me going and all those just various type of attributes to being a teacher. Uh, I have three children of my own and uh, sadly enough my last two, I had twin girls, they are uh, headed off to college as I record this video. I'm dropping off my second twin at college tomorrow and my first ten twin I dropped off last weekend so it's a big deal. My son is going to be a senior in college. So that's a little bit about me. I'm really interested in financial well-being, financial security, and uh, I'd like to pass on as much as I can for you guys with the hope of helping you secure your financial future. Okay, well, you know the course is online, so that goes without saying. There is a course description. R really, I'm going to address that in the last part of the schedule. These are important. Uh, when you're done, you will know how to develop investment objectives, financial goals, and what I think of as an action plan to achieve your goals. We will have a greater understanding of the economics and financial environment and how we select the appropriate investments. Uh, with that said, we are going to have some economics in this class, uh, specifically interest rates, inflation, overall, state of the economy uh, economically and a little bit politically as well. And finally, there are some prerequisites. Uh, you could take Business 320, Econ 302, 304, or Math. So please make sure you meet one of these prerequisites uh, because it will help you be successful. If you don't have it, again, I, I might consider taking 320 or one of these other courses first. I already told you about the book. Please secure your book as soon as possible. Uh, this is basic information. Again, how should you communicate with me? Ah, do you remember? Text. Text is the best way. I will give you homework to do each week and I'm, I'm really asking that you do it. You know, school isn't about just waiting to the last minute and getting things done. It's about enjoying the learning and really thinking about how the learning can apply to your life and that's what I want you to do here. I want you to think about the, what, what you can take away from this class and what, what will be meaningful for you. If you uh, just wait till Sunday night and get all your homework done, slam dunk, and you really don't think about it. It just becomes a process of getting things done. Then, then you're really not getting the, the crux of this class and really what's important. So I want you to think about that. I want you to think about your behavior and how you, you go about getting, getting started and doing well in this class. Uh, submitting assignments on time, well, it's, it's fairly easy to do this in, in an online class because the, uh, the, the submit link closes and you won't be able to upload any assignments after the due date. So just make sure you do your work on time. Again, it gets back to that behavior and, and wanting to learn this because you elected to take this course. So let's stay on top of it. 
we have uh, quizzes, five quizzes, the lowest quiz I drop, and they are available for multiple days. Again, because this is an online class, I might make it available, for example, on a Monday, and it, it could be due on a Friday, but that's how it goes down. They're timed. Some of them are timed, some of them are not. Some of them are take home, especially towards the end. So that's how that will go. Here is the grading scheme. Homework is 25% of your grade. Quizzes are most important at 50% uh, of your grade. Cases. Cases are where, I think, are wonderful because it's where you uh, take everything that we've learned and you apply it to a real situation with a real person. And you discuss how you would uh, invest for them or how you would make decisions for them. So I think cases are great and you will have them throughout the semester to write up and uh, submit. And then finally, I don't think this class would be complete unless you developed your own individual investment plan. So that's what we're going to be working on. You're going to be putting together an investment plan for yourself. And this is going to extend a little bit beyond what we do in the class because we're going to talk a little bit about retirement plan options and what type of accounts you should open. Uh, some of you will know this from 320, but others, we will make sure that you're aware of the best vehicle to use to start a savings and investment plan. Okay, my friends, homework. Homework is assigned on Monday, so your homework will be out there today. Uh, it comes out week one, like I mentioned in Canvas earlier. The first part of the homework is due on Thursday, Thursday by midnight, and part two is always due on Sunday, and it always works this way. One part is due Thursday, it's indicated, and the other part is due Sunday. Quizzes, five, lowest dropped. Uh, articles are just part of homework, and for, if I ask you to do an article review, it means you need to read it and write a couple paragraph summary on what you learned, why it's important, why would I bother to assign it, uh, all of those good things. So that's what I'm expecting every time I give an article review. I do use a discussion board to post post uh, qu questions. I'm looking for your opinions. I want to talk about things that are important in this economy right now, current information. There's a na new NAFTA. They're renegotiating NAFTA. And how is that going to affect us as an investors? And how might it have an implication on the economy? And then how might that affect us as investors? So these things are important and we need to, we need to be thinking about them. Investing is a thoughtful process. It's not where you just, uh, well, it's not where you just guess. Uh, cases I already told you about. So we'll have a uh, first case, I think, in the second, second or third week of class, and you'll get to try one out. Really fun. And finally, that individual project, which really is uh, an example of rubber meeting the road here. This is where you take what you've learned, and now you, you put it to work in your own life, in your own life. I really think... Uh, Starting young is key, and I really think that understanding all things financial is critical for you to be successful in life. All right, we have an academic honesty policy, which means don't cheat. Please don't cheat. Do your own work. Uh, we have a couple labs on campus. They're listed here if you need help. If you do need help, I'd like you to come see me. Often I don't see my online students, and I would really like that. If I see that you are missing, uh, just you're not tapping into Canvas or you're not submitting homework, then, uh, then I'm going to drop you just to get you off my records and to prevent you from having a W on your account. So there you go. Uh, this is the Dean's information, just in case you have any other issues. And uh, again, remember to stay active in this class because uh, really, if you miss two consecutive times, then technically we can drop you from the class. Now I'm going to roll down here, and this is our schedule. So this is really what we're going to be discussing. We're going to start off with these terms. You have to make it through the first week without getting frustrated, and I know you can do it. Then we're going to talk about the different markets, the New York Stock Exchange, the... Um, 
NASDAQ exchange, different types of markets for stocks and bonds. We're going to talk about how you buy and sell securities and how you gather important information to make investment decisions. Risk. Risk is huge, so we need to talk about risk. Uh, I'm going to move on because you can read this yourself. Stocks, how to evaluate stocks, a very important topic, behavioral finance. And we're fixed income, otherwise known as bonds. We're going to talk about bonds and how to evaluate those. Really where you play, mutual funds and ETFs, very important section. And finally, we're going to put together your portfolio. And uh, then in the last two weeks, we have some decisions to make. We'll touch on options, which are a more advanced investment strategy and uh, at least you'll know what they are and similar with futures and we may dabble into a little bit of how to evaluate real estate. So we have a final online it'll be the week of December 4th so early this semester and if you note it's on the last three chapters so it is not comprehensive it's another quiz. Well all right so I hope that helps clarify information. Again, you'll have a shorter video on your week one homework and I look forward to all of us having a very successful fall semester. Thanks.